morning and you're joining me this morning for a morning prayer it's just after six in the morning now but at some point this morning you might like to uh, say morning prayer as part of our 24 7 this is something that i try to do most mornings um, and i'm going to be taking prayer this morning from the celtic daily prayer from the northumbria community and it's their first book the journey begins um, it is available on um, the Kindle, and so uh, it is available quite easily if you uh, would like to join me this morning. Um, but let's just start with a moment of quiet, and I'm going to light a candle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. And the responses to the following are, Amen, Lord have mercy. So do you seek him with all your heart? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. So now the declaration of faith. To whom shall we go? For you have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. And so now we come to our reading for the day. And our first they're just little, short little verses to meditate on this morning. And our first verse is Psalm 9, verse 1. It says, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all your heart, all my heart, and I will tell of your wonderful deeds. Our second verse comes from the book of Deuteronomy, one of the Old Testament books, um, one of the first few books of the Bible. And it's Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 to 9. It reads, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. These commandments that I give to you today are to be on your heart. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, and when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands, and buy them, bind them on your forehead. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. And our New Testament reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, verse 22, 
uh, chapter 22, verses 35 to 38. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which of the greatest commandment, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. For just a moment of silence. Our readings this morning remind us that the first thing as Christians that we are called to do is love the Lord our God. And in the verse from Deuteronomy, you have this idea of tying this almost to your hands, to your head, and indeed some of the... Um, some of our Jewish brothers and sisters sometimes will wear these on a uh, little box on their head with these words and they write uh, as bound around their arms and hands. These are, the, the Deuteronomy passage is really about saying, have it everywhere. The love of God will radiate out of you. And so may we today as we gather for prayer, as a community, as a circuit, may the love of our Lord, the, our God, guide us throughout this day. Be with us and be something that we impress upon our children. We talk about as we walk, that we think about as we lie down and when we get up. And that radiates so much as, as if they are written on our hands and our heads and across the door frames of our homes. And so now we come to our prayer for others. And this hour that we are praying now, we are particularly praying for a vaccine. We know that there's a, a real need for us to have a way of overcoming this horrible virus that is affecting so many, affecting the livelihoods of people and the health of people both mental and physical. So now we pray, we pray for this vaccine. We pray for the pharmaceutical companies and scientists and researchers who are testing and learning about the virus so that a vaccine can be found. We pray that that vaccine will be a vaccine of justice, that it will be that anyone across the world can get hold of that readily and cheaply and hopefully freely. We pray for the scientific community. We pray for all of those who are going through testing at the moment and have selflessly put themselves forward on the vaccine trial. We pray for the doctors and nurses who will um, administer that vaccine. Their hands, as they administer those vaccines, and they realise their hands are gifting us new life in this world. And as we find that new life, 
we pray that we find new hope too in you, Lord Jesus. pray for our own universities here in Nottingham and the roles that they're playing in finding this vaccine. May, Lord, those who are working on this vaccine, may they feel as if their hands, may they know that their hands are doing the work of God and that they are enabling the love of the Lord our God through their hands and through their hearts and through their minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We come now to our canticle. Christ, as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ, as a shield, overshadow me. Christ, under me. Christ, over me. Christ, beside me. Christ on my left and on my right. Lord, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, and in the mouth of whom speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ is alive. Christ is a shield beside me, on my left and my right. And so, may the peace of God go with you this day, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So please keep with us today as we continue to pray. Each hour there'll be a new topic, and we ask you to just, for even just for a moment, to join us at different parts of the day, and pray for this world that we're in. Do believe that prayer is a thing that works and that God listens to all we say to him. So have a wonderful day and I'll just finish with the music that we started with. 